And I can remember the first day of medical school, sitting around with all the hundreds and hundreds of scared freshmen. My answer that day was I want to be a plastic surgeon. Never changed. To me, there was never any other option. One of the leading American plastic surgeons. Good life. Palmer is the surgeon to many famous faces, but discretion is everything. Tatla. The Beverly Hills plastic surgeon with delicate hands and a blue-eyed, soothing bedside manner is famed for performing miracles on aging bodies. The London Daily Express. Named one of the world's best plastic surgeons by Tatler Magazine, Dr. Palmer is internationally renowned. His expertise has made him a popular, featured guest on numerous television programs. Dr. Palmer's work speaks for itself. His patients enthusiastically rave about his aesthetic skills. I feel, I feel a bit tearful at leaving you. I mean, I think it's been amazing and I'm really, really, really grateful. And I know everybody, everybody says they fall in love with their surge and whatever <laughs> operation they have. <laughs> but this sweet. is the truth. Thank I think you're the greatest Aww. surgeon in the world. My name's Kelly and I'm 54 years old. I'd like to have facial sculpting, the Californian way. I want to look stunning. I'm having the operation in a couple of hours' time. I'm not nervous, I'm quite calm. Looking forward to what I'm going to look like with my new face. I'm really pleased with the results. I'm glad I did Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You look fab. You look fab, yeah. Thank you. Whether on television, whispered on the lips of Hollywood's A-list, or through letters of gratitude, Dr. Palmer's patients extol the superiority of his skills. Dr. Palmer, I wanted to make a change in my appearance for some time but was apprehensive about surgery. However, your gentle demeanor and obvious expertise put me at ease. Dr. Palmer, when I saw the results on my face, I was overwhelmed. And other times, his patients laud his discerning eye and skillful hand in undoing or recreating what others have done. Some people are so caught up in the idea that plastic surgery is an easy way to achieve perfection that they forget that it is major surgery and the consequences, as we're finding out, can be devastating. When I woke up after the surgery, I looked at myself in the mirror, I went, oh my God. I was only fortunate, Ricky, honestly, that I found Dr. Palmer. Had I not found this man, and I will tell you honestly, I went from doctor to doctor to doctor. I spent a fortune in consultation fees finding the right person. Had I not found him, I honestly don't know what I would have looked like. I don't know where I would have been. I was so psychologically damaged. Absolutely. Guilty. Yeah. Common sense, always. If it doesn't sound right for you, run. Run for the door. Run. Yeah. The surgeon chose this implant, more than double the size she needed. The face is protruding out two inches in this direction and that direction and had two little finger pieces sticking out like this. Fortunately, Dr. Francis Palmer was able to correct Ty's implants. He's an expert in what's known as secondary surgeries. But even as passionate as Dr. Palmer's patients are about their new looks, Dr. Palmer's passion for his life's work is even stronger. Plastic surgery offered me the opportunity to use my artistic ability to utilize my hands in a manner that I found very rewarding, and that's by improving one's appearance. And I think today there's a lot of plastic surgery that's being done. However, it doesn't necessarily make one look better. Inspired plastic surgery is performing things with an artistic and aesthetic eye and manner that definitely improves one's appearance. I think that technology for the sake of technology is nonsense. Technology that really improves the way that plastic surgery is performed, cutting down in either bruising or downtime or eliminating surgery, 
I think that's fabulous technology. Artistic ability has allowed me to look inside to each individual and see their unique beauty potential and then afforded me the ability, the technology, the surgical skills to make that potential come true. I truly believe that beauty is not esoteric. I believe that beauty can be defined by certain aesthetic values and principles and I believe if you follow those values and principles that beauty can be recreated. That has led me to certain and to design certain procedures like the facial contour facelift whose basic premise says when surgery is over, when I'm done, you're going to look a certain way and it will be more youthful and more attractive. Dr. Palmer's passion for his profession, coupled with his extensive educational and artistic background, make him one of the most sought after plastic and cosmetic surgeons in the world. So why are you setting up a clinic here in the UK? Well, I've had a lot of patients come to me in Beverly Hills from London, so I think it's an easier way to allow people from Europe to partake of my, uh, my surgery instead of just asking them to fly all the way to, to America. And this passion, which led Dr. Palmer on a quest to ensure timeless beauty for his patients, it was flipped. These products are designed to embrace the current trend of slowing down the effects of aging through non-invasive procedures. I think the future of plastic surgery is probably more fantastic and more amazing and more wonderful than we can even imagine. I can see in the very near future where individuals who want to maintain their appearance, who want to change their appearance, can do so with very little surgery, with very little bruising, with very little downtime. 